Here we go, follow me. <laughs> I'm Lauren welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching today I'm going to give you a little home studio tour we're standing outside my house right now and um, before I do that though I want to mention our new sponsor which is my sister's online clothing boutique everything that I'm wearing is from her store it's amazing you can use code Lauren 15 for 15% 15 off link is gonna be in the description below and it's just an amazing thing as I became a mom I find myself really struggling to just put outfits together because I don't have time to go shopping all the time. My sister does it all for me. You ask her for advice, she'll give you advice. It's amazing and she'll put stuff together for you. It's very affordable and high quality at the same time. So I love this shop. Check out that link in the description for 15% off code Lauren15. So today we're gonna go everything that was involved in kind of creating my home studio. And I'm also gonna give you a tour so you can see like all the de decorations I did, how much things cost. I'm also gonna get into kind of what it takes to establish a home salon, what all goes into it. There's a lot of stuff that you kind of have to think about, so I'm gonna to try to explain those things for you in this video if you're thinking about doing a home salon yourself. Um, primarily, I'm gonna tell you what I use it for. I don't take clients all the time anymore, so there's gonna be a little bit of differences for maybe why you would build a home salon versus why I, why I would build a home salon. I'm doing a lot of education, so that's my primary purpose for this. But I will tell you, it is a dream come true to have something like this, so I'm so excited to show you everything inside let's go ahead and get to it so we actually live in northern idaho we've moved around a ton so i'm hoping that this is our forever home so this is my house right here my kids are actually um, out there just watching some blippy this is where we decided to put the salon right here and first thing that you'll notice I absolutely love these double doors right here. This is just standard with the house that we got, which is awesome. Has like some nice windows, so it already looks like a cool kind of salon space. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, that's my son Clark. All right, so this is the salon. It is, how, how big would you say it is, baby? About 12 by 12, like 12 feet by 12 feet? Some. Okay, I think I think the space is about 12 by 12 feet just for reference. Let's talk about the shampoo area here This is actually from my salon in California. We had a studio. We had a couple studio salons and this has moved around um, Quite a bit so we moved this all the way from California I actually tried to sell it before I moved up here because I didn't think I would be able to use it I had no idea what kind of house we were gonna have but the space is big enough So we brought it here. It's a full like massage chair Shampoo bowl adjusts, which is really nice, and it has really good water pressure, which is amazing when you're doing hair. And um, yeah, so I really, really love this thing. People absolutely love it. Okay, then I'll bring you over here to like kind of my back bar area. So this is where I just kind of put my trash here, and then I put my towels here in this cute little uh, basket. I'm obsessed with baskets. I actually found that at Home Goods. I kept a few doll heads here, or as my husband likes to call them, my severed heads. <laughs> so um, these are the ones that I'm just kind of working on at the moment. Like I said, primarily I use the space for filming YouTube videos for you guys, doing my online education, which of course you gotta check out my online class in the link in the description below. Um, I only have a few products on my back bar right now because I'm not taking clients all the time. Primarily I'm going to be working on models and mannequin heads and just doing educational videos. So if you were to be working on clients all the time you would want to set up a contract with like a local rep in your area for whatever product line that you're wanting to use. When I was doing a salon down in California, like a full on salon, I used Daviness and the distributor for that was... What was it? I don't know, up here it's Salon Services. I forget what it's called down there, but you have to look for a local distributor in your area. So I just have a few things out here. I'm not using a ton of products. So I'm using Unite, which I love. It's, it smells amazing. So it's perfect for what I'm using it for. You'll see over here, we have a lot of stuff hang, hung on the walls. So these are my robes, which I've always had since I started like my very first studio salon. And I have like my little logo on there. But I, we tried to put as much stuff as possible all over the walls to help the acoustics in here because as you can tell, it's a little bit echoey. All this stuff has helped pretty well, but it's still a little bit echoey. So we try to put as much stuff on the walls and it just kind of makes it more like decorative too when you do that. I got this little detail piece from World Market. I got a lot of stuff from World Market because I absolutely love the style there. 
I'm really big on like boho, uh, kind of beachy. I love mixing all like the tans and creams and beiges together. So that's really fun. And then, so these shelves I actually got from Etsy. It was really hard for me to find uh, floating shelves and I absolutely love these ones. I really, really wanted just that really light, light wood finish. And they, these were like probably $40 each. I thought that was so great. It could have been 40 together, I'm not sure, but it was on Etsy. And most of the Etsy vendors that I use to like decorate the place have been just amazing. Okay, and then this, this little thing right here, this little vase with these little things coming out of it, I forget what they're called. They're not pompas, but they're kind of like in that family. Um, this stuff I actually got from a Instagram business and she kind of like refurbishes these little items that she finds at thrift shops and she kind of refurbishes them, makes them really cute for home decor. So I thought it'd be really cool to support as many small businesses as I possibly could when I was kind of decorating this. So that's that. Um, let's um, take a look at this little corner over here. This is one of the corners that I'm like most proud of. <laughs> I love the way this turned out. So, let's see. So, like I said, trying to hang as much stuff on the wall because I'm always filming videos, I wanna make sure it's not too echoey. So I found this little arrangement. This all came together. Um, I, I picked out the way that I styled it on the wall, but this all came together from an Etsy store and they were really great. I feel like all the vendors on Etsy are so willing to help. They're just amazing. And one of the pieces actually came broken. He didn't have me send it back or anything. He just trusted me, didn't even need to see pictures, sent me another one. I mean, all these experiences have just been really nice. So that's been amazing. Over here, I just hang my my uh, apron, and I got this on Amazon. A lot of people ask me where I get that, so it's like 20 bucks maybe. I'll link that in the description below in case that's something that you wanna check out. This is where I keep my towels, and this little basket is from Home Goods as well. It kinda matches the laundry basket there. I kinda roll on my towels to keep it nice looking. Capes are in there as well. I, got, I just keep all my color brushes in here. I believe I, oh, I found this at World Market as well. <laughs> I'm obsessed with World Market. I have a little Alexa because I always like to uh, just kind of listen to music or a podcast while I'm working. Okay, so here, this is one of my favorite finds for the salon. It is from actually TJ Maxx. It's super sturdy. I'm amazed because usually when I get furniture that's like kind of discounted and stuff, it's like always not level or something. There's always like an issue. This thing is awesome. I think it was like $135 and I was just amazed. I'm really into like this rattan thing right now, so I love that. Let's take a look inside. And then inside here is just where I decided to keep all my foils, all my color brushes, just kind of all my back stock, just extra stuff, gloves, whatever I'm not using at the moment, I try to keep here so it's just nice and clean in here. It's not always clean though. I did spend about like two hours trying to get it clean for you guys. And then this rug right here I got from Wayfair. I actually couldn't find anywhere else a rug that looked like this that was this light. They all are either like white or maybe just like a lot darker than I wanted. Like this color right here is exactly what I wanted because of the floors that I had. So I got that from Wayfair. It's a perfect size for this entry. I love the idea of having big rugs everywhere but I just kind of was like well, I don't want hair to get all over it, so it's perfect for this space. Hair is gonna stay way over there, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Let's talk about this fig tree. So I actually had a amazing fiddle leaf fig tree at my old house, but we weren't allowed to move it up here with us. So I had to, I was like looking at all these different nurseries in Idaho, Nobody actually makes them this big, so I had to buy a fake one on Amazon. So I do have a fake tree here. I'm really sad I couldn't bring my other one with me. I got this from World Market. Let's talk about the floors. The floors, these were actually like my second choice. I actually had another flooring picked out, but when we were working on it, there wasn't enough to do like the entire floor. So the guy who was who built this entire place, which I'll talk about him in a second, um, he was just kind of like, hey Lauren, what about these? These kind of look good and I never would have thought to use these floors, but I absolutely love them. And I saved like hundreds of dollars using them too. So, love these floors. They're so soft, very easy to sweep and I got these from Lowe's. The uh, next thing I wanted to show you guys was this barn door. So before it was just, you know, a regular room. This whole place was just a regular room. It had carpet everywhere. 
it had all the standard baseboards and trim, just like the rest of the house does. Uh, right here was just a normal door. It had like a really basic knob on it and everything. So we decided to get a barn door from Lowe's. We didn't finish it at all. I really love the unfinished wood look, as you can tell. So this is awesome. It also has a soft close on it. I believe this door was $250, so it was very inexpensive. And then, yeah, so I wanted to tell you about the guy who built this place out. His name is Taylor Wallace. He has a business on Instagram, which I'm gonna link in the description below. But he does, he's like never done something like this before, and this is literally a dream come true. He did an amazing job. I cannot say one issue with it. I am just so blessed and so happy. He's actually my, how do I say this? My sister's, so he's my sister's brother-in-law. Um, Taylor Wallace, he's amazing. Um, so, speaking of Taylor Wallace, he did this accent wall for me, which is like kind of the staple of the room and I am obsessed with it. I found it on Pinterest, maybe you've seen it floating around on Pinterest. I absolutely love it. He just, he just kind of, like I gave him kind of a rough idea. I put, we put some tape on the wall to kind of figure out where all of the different lines and stuff would go. And anytime, like I wasn't sure about something, he would have an idea that would just, that made it all come together. So I absolutely love this wall. We tried out like three different black colors to see what was gonna look good. Honestly, it was so hard to tell. They were all very different, but once you have it all on the wall, it just looks amazing. So black accent wall, I thought it looked really good with all the like sandy beach colors and everything like that. Then I wanted to kind of go a little, Crazy with the chair, we just did like this camel colored chair um, with the black accent pieces. It's something that's just so different for me. I also got a little pillow that kind of matches the baskets that I have um, just to make it all come together. But this color is something so different than I would normally choose, but that's kind of what I wanted for the space. I wanted it to just be completely different than the rest of my house. I would say the style that I usually like for the rest of my house is more cozy, like farmhouse style. And here, I just wanted it to be a completely separate space, just its own thing. And so I went crazy with the chair. Let me know what you guys think about it too. Okay, so this is one of my favorite pieces in the entire salon because my husband and cameraman built it for me. So I was looking everywhere on Etsy, on Wayfair, just like anywhere I could possibly find, even Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for a table like this. I love the, the hairpin legs with like the unfinished raw live edge look. So everywhere that I looked, it'd be like $800 for a table plus like $100 shipping. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's way too expensive. And so literally one day I was walking with my kids and um, in the stroller and I realized we have a neighbor just behind our house that sells a bunch of like raw wood. So I just went over there one day with like the, all the kids and I was like, hey, do you think I, I was telling him what I was trying to do in the salon and stuff like, do you have anything that might work for me? He gives me this piece of wood for, how much did he give it to me for? $30. So $30 for this piece of wood. We found these on Amazon, these hand, uh, hairpin legs. I believe it was $80 for those. So I spent like just a little bit over $100 to build this whole table. My husband kind of cut it and sanded it down and everything so that, and it was like pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it took like an hour and a half and it's just so special to me because he made it and also because I saved a lot of money and I like to do that. And then over here, I just bought one of these holsters from Amazon. So they're they're made to like put your blow dryer and a few curling irons and flat irons here. So we just uh, attach that and it kind of attaches. You can make it as tight as you need to with this little screw here. So it kind of will fit on any table. I'll link that in the description below as well in case you need to find something like that. And then this was just, I don't know, I just found this when we were moving and I was like, oh, I could just put like a few things in there. So I have my comb and like some clips. Um, this mirror is also from World Market. I had two of these in my salon when I was in uh, Aliso Viejo, which is, you know, Southern California. And these plants, I'm so proud of myself for actually keeping these alive. It's been about six months now. I hope to have more, but eventually I want them to like, just kind of fall over the table and everything. So, but we're growing them from like baby and we'll see how it goes. But so far they've been pretty good because we have this beautiful window light right here. And then these over here, I'm just like super into pompous grass right now. It's like super trendy, of course. 
I chose to do the fake ones for this because I know they kind of shed a lot and I wanted them I wanted them to just kind of last for a while. So I got these from World Market, Cost Plus, and then this basket is from Home Goods. I just I have this extra basket just to put like some extra camera and like filming equipment to kind of keep it out of the way when I'm not filming. I looked everywhere for like an affordable big glass vase. I don't know why that was so hard to find, but I just wanted it so bad. So I looked everywhere. I found a little store on Etsy, and um, that is where I got that. They're actually sold out, otherwise I would give you the link for that, but it's so hard to find those. So super happy about that. It all just kind of came together. And then, okay, over here. Okay, so let's talk about this window a little bit, and actually this house in general. We actually picked this house in part because we wanted to kind of find the right house that would allow us to create something like this because there's a lot you have to think about, the plumbing especially. So the plumbing, the lighting, and I always want like perfect lighting when I'm taking photos or when I'm filming. Yes, we have artificial light, but I wanted there to be a lot of natural light as well. So this house was perfect for this. This room is right in the front of the house. So it made it perfect. It's also separated from the rest of the house. All the bedrooms are upstairs. So we picked this house because it has four four bedrooms yeah four bedrooms you know the master and three little bedrooms so all of our kids have bedrooms upstairs it's away from the salon so if i'm working um i don't have to worry about waking anybody up i have three kids three and under so um i don't have to worry about naps and stuff and then it's right next to a bathroom so we have a bathroom right on the other side of this wall so that made the plumbing really easy to bring over and also the foundation it is a crawl space rather than a cement slab which in california mostly everything is slabs it's a crawl space so it was easy to kind of run the plumbing wherever we wanted it so we have the sink right here Anyway, so yeah so those are kind of some things that you want to think about if you're doing a home salon is it going to be easy to run plumbing Plumbing can be $13,000 if you don't have the right situation. So this entire place was built for about, I believe $4,000, including all the decoration and stuff. Um, does that sound about right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, it was about $4,000 total. Again, it was a family friend who was doing it. He happens to be incredible. I know I got a really good deal, so that's something to think about too, but just so you know, it was about $4,000. I got these curtains from Target. And they don't really do much, <laughs> but I got them because I wanted to have just a really soft light filter, not necessarily trying to block out the sun completely because I love to take photos. This is all about photo taking It's a f and a filming. It's more of a studio. Um, I also got the little rod up there from Target. I love the little details on the end. Over here, my mom actually built this little wall decor piece for me. Um, I love it. It has all those little uh, like dry leaves and everything. I just thought it fit so good with the space, so I put it here. Also helps with the acoustics, have as much stuff as possible on the wall. And then over here, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the shelf right now, but for the most part, I'm just keeping some brushes and then some of my styling products that I could easily reach for and not clutter up my kind of main styling area here. And then right here is just a, a vacuum. So I just leave it in the corner. I sweep all of the hair right up into it it usually, like if I was doing clients all day long, it will, I just have to change it like once a day. So, so um, yeah, you just sweep everything right into it. You don't have to be bending over to pick up stuff. So I really like that. Okay, so let's go into the back room here. Um, this was originally a closet, originally just a normal door, which I'll show you some pictures of what it looked like before, of course. So we'll kind of check it out here. Let me turn the light on. So this room is actually pretty spacious, but it was a closet. So you can see there's like um, clothing rods here and stuff. I just hung some extra robes that I have here and hangers, just kind of like my back sock. This is where I mix color. So I have all my color kind of lined up here. I have all the bowls here, just some like coloring books, barbicide, everything that I need, like kind of want to mix in color. And then I also just kind of put some extra storage up there. We got some more severed heads in this corner. I also put my broom here and some like tripods, extra camera equipment. So I wanted to kind of keep that space as clean as possible. So I made this space kind of like where I can kind of do some dirty work, you know, mixing all the color and everything. Oh yeah, this little thing right here. I just thought this door needed some texture on it. Uh, so I got this from World Market, this little uh, macrame piece. We had to break to feed the baby. <laughs> this is Rush, he's two months old. 
he was just taking a nap, so he woke up, we had to feed him. But I believe I've showed you everything in the salon. I am so just grateful that I have this space. You know, as a mom, I stay home with three kids all day long, and it's just so cool to have like a little space to myself. I'm so grateful to my husband for, you know, allowing us to have this space as part of our home. There's so much I can do with it. I don't take clients anymore. I'm only doing education now. But if I ever needed to, I have this space and I could do it. But I also wanted to mention too that if you are doing a home salon where you're gonna be running a business and taking clients, there are some things that you have to do, you know, with state board. You like for one example, you're not gonna see my um, license hanging up on the wall. That's one thing state board makes you do. Uh, I believe in some states you actually have to have a separate entrance designated for the salon if it's attached to your home. Like there's some th certain things, building permits that you need to have depending on which state or which city you live in. So that's something that you wanna make sure to look up before you start building something like this out. Again, if you're not like making a whole business out of it, it's not as important. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you got lots of ideas from this and maybe it's encouraged you to decide to kind of make the decision to create your own home salon. It's been a dream come true for me. Um, I absolutely love it. I just can't say that enough. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you love my content. Also, make sure to let me know if you have any questions after watching this video, anything I didn't think about or talk about. I wanna know, I wanna hear from you. Make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, if you're interested in my online education, my online courses, make sure to check out the links in the description below. I'm always doing some type of promotion. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I will see you soon. You got your snacks? Okay, get in there. Come here. Bye, thank you for watching. Bye, bye.